Hey, this is Professor Fay with your anatomy lesson of the day. Today we're going to make lungs out of some clay. So uh, get a ball about the size of a ping pong ball rolled out and then you can put it in your hand and do a little angle here and then just roll back and forth a bit. And that should give you something that's a little bit more pear shaped. Uh, and so the top will be the apex of your lung, which is up here. And then you can kind of flatten it out. And the bottom would be the base of your lung, which is right next to the diaphragm, which is this big breathing muscle uh, that's between your thoracic and abdominal cavities. And it rises and falls to help drive inhalation and exhalations that you do. So the right lung in your body has three lobes. There's a superior lobe. You just put a little mark in there to indicate superior lobe. A middle lobe. Put another little mark in there. So now we have this middle lobe and an inferior lobe. That sits on the right side of your body in your thoracic cavity. We'll take our other ball of clay, do the same kind of thing, roll it into a bit of a pear shape. All right. And again, your apex and your base. There are just two lobes of this lung. So a superior and an inferior, superior, inferior. And the thing about the left lung is that uh, it's got a little indentation in it that's called the cardiac notch because the heart sits just a little bit left to center in your thoracic cavity. And so the left lung only has these two lobes, has that cardiac notch in order to accommodate the heart. And so that's your anatomy lesson of the day.